How to get started with Python for data science. You have different options, but I would argue the most popular choice for data science is to use um, Anaconda. Um, Anaconda offers an installation of Python and R, which is ideal for people working on, on data science projects. The benefit of Anaconda is you don't have to bother about separate installations of R or Python or various um, integrated development um, environments, so-called IDEs. It's all done in one, in one download. So when you navigate to the Anaconda website, the description is um, down below, you can just um, press download um, and you just follow a standard download procedure, which is straightforward. Once this is achieved, um, you can open your Anaconda navigator. And in here you have um, various choices um, to um, launch um, um, so-called IDEs. Um, such as a Spider, which is very popular in data science, or the Jupyter Notebook. Um, some people also use PyCharm. I have also tried that. Um, there will be a separate video on um, IDEs um, and you know what are good choices um, in the context of data science. The benefit of Anaconda is when you update um, some um, packages you might use in Python, Anaconda handles all of that. And we do a special um, video on uh, how to update your system. If you install Python directly, um, again it has different pros and cons, but one issue there is you have to manage um, all the um, updating process um, yourself. Um, you can of course also use um, various tools like uh, the so-called pip installer. If you want to have your own Python installation separately, um, you can just navigate to python.org and downloads um, and you find there the latest version of Python. This is in particular useful if you work with different IDEs um, and also if you want to work with your own virtual environments. Again, I will do a separate video on virtual environments. After you have done the downloading, um, I'm on Windows, I just type in cmd and I go into the command prompt. I type in Python and then minus capital V. This is just showing me the version of Python on the system and it confirms that I have Python 3.10.1 installed. If that doesn't um, show you um, the expected outcome, it's not in installed on the system. Now, how can you start Python um, without using the Anaconda installation? You just type in Python um, and it um, opens up the Python shell. So now you're operating in Python. So you can do, um, a, for instance, a print statement and use quotation marks for a string and just um, say what you should say, hello world. And that works. Yeah, you can exit the um, Python shell using exit open close brackets um, and um, you are out and you go to the normal command prompt. Now that's one way of running it and of course you can install your own um, um, IDEs and you can run um, um, Python um, on your IDE which I have done or you might prefer a text um, editor. I'm a big fan of Sublime Text, which again is uh, available for free. You can just download that. It helps you to, to write your code. Also, it supports various languages, which is great if you work um, across several languages in a project. You can also, of course, do um, your Python code in in any other um, text editor. For instance, here I just use um, WordPad. I just typed in here, hello world. And I saved this um, file as main.py. You have to be only careful with the extension. If you use .py, it would be understood as a, as a Python script. And then in the folder where I saved it, um, I just click here and put in cmd and it moves straight into that folder without using a change directory command. And then I just type in Python, which would open my Python shell and then the name of a file, which is main.py and execute that, hello world. So that also works. So here in summary, you have seen um, how to get started, either use Anaconda 
which gives you um, actually everything in one package or you do a separate installation of Python and various IDEs or maybe a text editor or you just work straight um, in the Python shell.